please give it up for John Gonzalez. I know what it's like to be dead, thanks to my public high school. When I was a senior in high school, I was randomly selected to take part in a program called Every 15 Minutes. Uh, my school used the program to stage a simulated drunk driving accident, which would be, which would be used to uh, prevent students from drinking and driving. So I heard all of this, and I thought it looked really good on my resume, so I said yes. And uh, on the day of the event, I'm told to go to the uh, school library, and I show up, and there's a person there to explain how the event's going to work. So he uh, kind of goes like this. He's like, take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Okay, strap on in. <laughs> Get it? Because you're going to be in a car accident. Get it? <laughs> Moving on. You five are going to be the actors in today's simulation. You, pointing to the star of our high school football team, you we're in an accident that killed the baby of your, the, the uh, mother of your children, as well as these three people, as he pointed to me and my two friends. Um, this was an actual couple at our school that had a real child, and it's incredible to me that our public high school felt the need to take this situation and make it as bad as possible <laughs> to maximize terror. <laughs> so they then take us to a makeup artist who throws fake blood on us, and takes scissors and cuts a bunch of holes in our clothes. We're then taken to the back of the school where there's a parking lot, and in the parking lot are two cars that have been collided together to be this, this simulation. So they take all this money that could have been used to, I don't know, buy books, <laughs> or science, or whatever schools use, and they took that money to make these two cars crash, and then they had us go into the cars. So now I'm in one of the cars, and I'm actually excited because I get to be the driver. And this is the biggest acting role I've had up to this point. I get to be the driver of the vehicle of which everyone died in. So it's very exciting. And I'm getting ready, and the senior class is rolling in, and there's an ambulance, and there's fire department, and there's police officers, and 600 members of the senior class. And I have to start performing. And uh, I have to scream in agony. And if you've ever been asked to scream in agony on the spot, it's very difficult. <laughs> so I try it, and it's not sounding very natural. <laughs> ah! Ouch! <laughs> uh, stop laughing. I'm dying in the scenario. Okay, I'm a comedic actor, right? I'm not a dramatic actor by trade. It's hard. Um, but my friends in the back seat are so convincing. Like, I am actually terrified that they are really injured. So I turn back. And I try to make eye contact with one of my friends, but she doesn't because she's in character. And I turn back around, and I see a firefighter with an ax. And he's, ks, ks, ks. he's chopping at the windshield of our car. And shards of glass are hitting me in the face. And he's peeling back the windshield, and he dives over the dashboard and takes a box cutter and cuts open my seatbelt and my shirt. And then he grabs me and pulls me over the hood of the car. So I'm just being scraped by all of this broken glass. And then put on a gurney and hooked up to an IV. All the while, my friends in the audience are screaming, John, you're dead. You're dead. I don't want to say something, but I can't because I'm dying. And out of the corner of my eye, I see my friend flying away in a helicopter. And you're right, I'm jealous that she got to fly away in a helicopter. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm in the emergency room of a hospital where there's a film crew and there's a doctor. So the film crew is basically the high school version of TMZ, there to document my death for the high school yearbook DVD. <laughs> the doctor leaves, he comes back with my mom. And he says, Mrs. Gonzalez, we tried everything we could, but he didn't make it out of the surgery. And then he left. So then I had to take 10 minutes of my mom weeping over my dead body. I wanted to comfort her and say that everything was gonna be okay, but I couldn't because I was dead. 
I think it can't possibly get any worse, but for these people, one set of your mother's tears is not enough. I still had to attend my own funeral. <laughs> so the next day, my school's auditorium has been converted into a funeral, and I am dressed in ghost face because I'm dead. <laughs> not to be confused with the ghost face killer, <laughs> AKA the Grim Reaper. Yep, my school brought the Grim Reaper. They spent thousands of dollars of taxpayer money to make sure that every detail was exquisitely accurate. And they took one artistic liberty, and that was a Grim Reaper. So at my funeral, there's me, my killer, my mom, and the Grim Reaper. And I had to listen as my killer apologized in front of the entire student body to my parents for making me perish. And at the end of the event, my parents gave me a letter. And the letter was all the things that they wished they told me before I died. And to this day, six years later, I still haven't opened that thing. <laughs> and the next day at school, it was spring break. And that's the story of how we all had the best spring break ever. <laughs>